Today we will be covering the topic of social emotional learning. This is part three of our, this is part three of our segment. And we have been diving into the depths of the social emotional learning and understanding what all the hype. is truly about bubble bounce so i'm about to play this and it's going to give you just a more deeper concept of what is So what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one productivity software where you can manage everything and anything related to your work. Your documents, your chats, your whiteboards, your projects. The value of this, you don't have Mindful looking. This activity will enhance your observation skills and make you better at focusing. These are great skills for artists and will help you to focus in class. You need to sit comfortably facing the screen. You can sit in your chair or on the carpet, whichever your teacher prefers. The screen is gradually going to fill with bubbles of all different types. Some of them will be big, some small, some will be orange, some blue, some may be multicolored. I want you to look at the yellow bubble. Only the yellow bubble. Follow it wherever it goes with your eyes. Don't be tempted to look at any other bubble. Stay with the yellow one. Pay close attention to it. Now look at the blue bubble. Follow it closely. Keep looking. Some of them might start to pop to try and distract you, but don't let them. Now switch to the green one. Pay attention to it. This means only think about this one thing. Keep track of it, even if it goes behind another bubble. Now look for the smallest bubble. Your eyes will have to scan over the whole screen to spot it. Don't shout out which one it is. Stay silent. Now pay attention to the fastest bubble. Well done! 
Now you've exercised your focusing skills, you can put these into practice in your lessons. Who's ready to hatch some cool pets? Click here to make your very own monster on Adapted Mind, where monsters teach you math. Oh my, that monster looks... Awesome. So that was our bubble bounce technique. This technique will be great not only for kids, but for yourself, for your family, and your friends. When you need that time to unwind and refocus. Time when you feel that the outside chatter is so loud in your head. You feel that you are overwhelming or overwhelmed about something that's taking place in your life or feel overstimulated. Utilize something such as this to refocus your mind, to recenter your energy, and to bring you more at peace. So let's do a wellness check. How are you feeling? Are you angry, excited, grumpy, shy, focused, lonely, hyper? How are you feeling? Being able to understand how you're feeling is a great way to understand how social emotional learning can have an impact on you and the others around you. So why are we here? So like I said, this is part three of our segment and we're just continuing continuing this segment on social emotional learning and these programs that we can implement not only in the schools, but at home. Sometimes the things that they do in the school can also be done in the home. And keeping that consistency and structure keeps the children um, you know, more online and on task to be able to utilize these strategies. Because we don't want you to only understand how to cope with your, your circumstances at school. We want you to understand how to cope with these um, emotions at home, you know, at church, at school or wherever you are. We want you to be able to cope. So let's play a game. So I'm recording this um, currently right now. So this will be a great game to play, you know, with others. But for time's sakes today, I just wanted to be able to give you guys a little scoop of what we do here when we get come together for um, Interbanks Hotline. So what is our SEL? So again, we've been calling it this whole time. It's the social and emotional learning. That's a process in which children and adults, my child and myself, where we try to, you know, collaboratively get these strategies to help us understand, you know, and learn about our attitudes and about our emotions and how we can be able to change our thinking, you know, being more open minded, being more, you know, emotional, but also understanding how we can be emotional in a more positive light. Why is SEL important to our students? Now, again, like I said, this presentation can be suited for a school, but it can also be suited for the home. It can also be suited for an after school program. It does not matter. It doesn't even have to be just for kids. This can be adults too. So right now we're just talking about why it's important, you know? And where you see where it says improve school and class climate, this can improve the household climate. You know what I'm saying? Increase student motivation, increase family motivation, where we can all come together and be motivated to have those positive relationships. Teach study skills and habits. Maybe mom or dad want to go back and get their GED, you know? this can help, right? All I'm trying to do is connect these important topics to the household because, you know, like I said, if the kids get that structure at home, they can, they can continue that structure in the school. And why not? Why not set up our home setting to benefit our children, you know? And even if you don't have children, sometimes we got to go back in time to when we were a youth, 
and be able to help that child out. You know, a lot of us, we still deal with some things from our past, from our childhood. So sometimes you have to make sure that you still, as an adult, tap in to that inner child and get that inner child the help they need, right? Maybe we couldn't help ourselves back then, but we can help ourselves now. So this right here is an example of some SEL curriculums. This one right here is the second step. You know, this can deal with focusing your attention, listening, being assertive, and using self-talk. It helps build empathy, and it helps us with calming down. You know, have you ever been on the phone and you're trying to talk to someone for customer service? And they've then made this automatic system answer. And you have to press one if you want customer service, two if you want English, and three if you want Spanish. Or if they pick up the phone and you cannot understand a word they're saying. And then you're having to ask them to repeat. You're just trying to talk to someone in customer service, but they're trying to get your information. They don't understand your dialect, the way you talk. So it's confusion. It's frustrations. Sometimes we got to understand that we need to calm down. And before you know it, you done went from one to a thousand in a matter of minutes. So it's a great tool to use. You know, the stick and step curriculum is a really great tool. I would recommend this tool to anyone. You know, and like I said, it's not just at school. This can be done in the household. So skills for learning. Focus attention. Listen. Use a calm, firm voice. Remember what you hear. Use self-talk. So if you're dealing with needing to learn, needing to regain your focus so that you can get a task done, try these steps. Empathy and compassion. So empathy and compassion, you know, they play hand in hand, right? Being able to be empathetic to others, but also show compassion. That is the key to a successful community, a successful home, a successful classroom, and a successful life. Emotion management. So sometimes you can feel yourself getting riled up. And sometimes you can say, let me calm down. Or another famous quote. Not today, Satan. Or another famous quote. Don't try me. Or even, I wish someone would. When we say those type of quotes and phrases, it's because we can understand in that moment that what the person or the situation is doing, it can move us to escalate to the next level. And that is where a lot of times as a person, as a woman, as a mother, we struggle with that because we've been holding back, holding back, letting everyone dig and dive and go where they need to go and say what they need to say and do what they need to do. But then after a while, those emotions start knocking. They're knocking because they want to explode. They want to act. They want to react. They want to become explosive. But as a person, as a woman, as a mother, as a friend, as a man, boy, girl, whatever, understanding how to manage our emotions can help us to have a safe and healthier life. Now, your emotions aren't always crying, you know. It can also be the way that you say things, the words that come out of your mouth, you know. That all deals with emotion management. Now, when dealing with emotion and management, we have to understand that calming down is important. Children need to learn skills to manage their emotions in a healthy way. But parents and adults do too, right? Coping skills increase resilience because they help people learn how to properly handle uncomfortable emotions and difficult situations. Here's an example. John went into work. John has been feeling neglected at work. He feels unappreciated. 
He feels that his peers mock him. He feels that his administration pays him no mind. He is called to the office and he is told that he is being relieved of his services and that they no longer need him. He immediately gets mad and he gets irate and he wants to go off the edge. He wants to say things that he has always wanted to say. He wants to do things that his mind has only imagined. But in that moment, he realized that if I don't want to be locked up, if I don't want to be arrested, if I don't want to be harmed, if I do not want to see police presence, I might better calm down. So being able to control that impulse and stay focused on the matter at hand, not focus on being fired, but focus on what am I going to do next? What's my game plan? Okay. Calming down is important. Here are some calm down strategies. Try them with me. Belly breathing. So sometimes, you know, as a woman, I like to stand and make it look like my stomach is very flat. And a lot of times I take very um, short breaths that don't go way down within. But take the moment to breathe and look at your stomach and guide your breathing with your stomach. Belly breathing. I'm blowing out. So my stomach is coming out. I'm pulling in. So my belly is in and my chest is out and I'm blowing out. And as I'm pushing out, I'm pushing my stomach. I'm relaxing my body. I'm relaxing my arms and my muscles so that I am able to fully breathe. Let that in, that air in. Let in that good oxygen and let out that negativity. Okay? Positive self-talk. Let's say my name was Sally. Sally is the best at her job. I'm looking in the mirror now. My name is Sally. Sally, you're the best at your job. Your job appreciates you even though they don't know how to show it. Sally, you will make it to work on time every day, every day this week. Sally, you are needed. Sally, your food tastes amazing. Everyone loves it, whether they say they do or they don't. Sally, I love how you're wearing your hair. It's so beautiful. You look so young. Way to go, Sally. You're looking good, girl. You're slimming down, huh? Way to go, Sally. Is that a size medium? Great job. Look at you, Sally. You got this. Only a few more to go. Keep going. You got this, Sally. Think about it. If you're doing that self-talk every morning that you're getting ready to go places, that's getting your mind ready for the day. It sets the tone of your day because that builds your confidence, that builds your self-esteem, that builds your motivation to get you geared to what you need. Okay? I'm reading, doing something you enjoy, exercising, journaling and feelings, drawing and guiding in. And even progress. Stop crying. I told you I'm trying to record a video. Rainbow meditation script. Get comfortable. Close your eyes and relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe it out slowly through your mouth. These type of activities that can be found on Google, YouTube, Teacher Pay Teacher, um, ReadWorks, multiple places. These type of meditation techniques, worksheets, billboards, any of it, it can be found online. The same way that we're able to find the latest clothes, the best Shein outfit, the car of our dreams, or the house of our dreams, we can go online to do our self-help and build ourselves through our social and emotional well-being.
Grounding with your five senses. Take us a, a quick scrap, um, a quick shot of this screen. This deals with the things that you can see, things you can feel, things you can hear, things you can smell, and things you can taste. Those are examples on the right hand side. So utilize, utilize these when you see that you need to focus, when you feel that you are all over the place. All right. So things that you can see. I can see a mirror. I can see a TV. I can see a chair. Things I can feel. I can feel my fluffy blanket. I can feel my hand. I can feel my face and my hair. Things you can hear. I can hear my husband playing music in the background. I can hear my daughter crying. <laughs> I can also hear the white noise in the background. Things you can smell. And lastly, the things that you can taste. I'm starving, so I would love to go get a bite to eat. <laughs> what are your senses? What are your things? Let me know. Do this grounding exercise and pause this video. Hit pause when you're ready to restart or hit play. Thank you. This right here is a screenshot from the curriculum book, okay? Again, take a picture. This is your guided imagery relaxation technique, as well as dealing with stress. Life can get tough, but someone's got to do it. And it was only fit for you to do it. It wasn't meant for anyone else to do it. It's all in your court. The ball's in your court. And so what can you do? Not sit and be upset, not get mad, none of that. Just do what you have to do to take care of yourself. Problem solving. Calming down helps you think so you can solve problems. Following steps can help you solve those problems. Saying the problem without blame is respectful. Right? Let's touch base on that. I have a problem. So instead of saying... The DOT makes me mad because there's a whole bunch of potholes in the road. And every time I run over those potholes, I tear my truck up. I, I, the DOT gets on my nerves. Let's not blame. Let's state the problem. The problem is there's holes in the road and I seem to struggle with going around them. <laughs> What's your problem? Think about it. State your problem. And without adding blame, be respectful. Now, this problem solving continue because every day you're given a problem. Life is going to come with problems. You are the solution to the problem. So there's, there's going to be constant reminders about how you can problem solve. And once again, if you feel that you don't know how to problem solve, Try to look something up online. Social media is a great help. Um, I love to look at TikTok, even though they say it's going to be gone soon. But I do. I love to look at TikTok and I love to type in my feelings or how I'm feeling or what I'm dealing with or my problems so that I can see who else is dealing with it and how are they making it. Sometimes it's just good to know that you're not the only one dealing with the same problem. Rainbow breathing. I'm not going to play this because I want to hurry up and get um, get to the end. But look this up on YouTube. Rainbow breathing for your social emotional. Okay. Take a moment and show yourself some kindness by using positive self-talk. I want you to snap a picture of this and zoom in. Okay. So on one side, you got the remembering the rainbow. Notice the dark clouds. Right. So this is helping to get you to the brighter side, you know, 
Think of some positive and good things about the situation. And that will help you get where you need to be. Okay. Now some positive thoughts and affirmations. I like to write affirmations on my board um, in my mirror. I love to put quotes and scriptures and I love to keep, you know, keep up with what I need to keep in my mind. Um, So let me, let me, you know, tell you a few that I like. I forgive myself for my mistakes. Today is going to be a great day. I am whole. I can get through anything. Everything will be okay. I am free to make my own choices. I deserve to be loved. I am in charge of my life. Now, I think that was a good eight, but these are 50 affirmations. Take a picture and take the time and each week change up that affirmation and keep that as a reminder. And every time you look in that mirror and every time you go by that mirror or go by that board, you say that I am enough. I am whole. I accept who I am. Self-care plan. Everyone needs a plan. Everyone has got to have a plan. You cannot win. You cannot succeed. You cannot grow. You cannot excel. You cannot do anything without a plan. When you get pregnant, you have a pregnancy plan. When you get married, you think of a marriage plan or a budget plan. You got to have a plan in life. Take a quick screenshot of this. Take a quick screenshot of this. This is your plan. This is your self-care plan. How are you going to handle it? What are you going to do? Can you make your plan? Again, we thank you so much for tuning in today for this webinar. Um, Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video. Again, today we covered the social and emotional learning of how we can make you a better and healthier you. My name is Nola Ransom and I'm signing out. Thank you for tuning in and blessings.